What's up everybody, welcome to a software review. So today we're going to be going over how to record um, Steam games like Gmod, Black Ops 2, Mon for 3, all pretty much are Call of Duty, you can do Assassin's Creed, Crisis, all of these different um, PC games from Steam, and as well as Minecraft, that also works. Um, on this new software by Marillus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's called Action, and this is currently what I use to record my Black Ops 2 gameplays. Before I get into this review, I just want to show you guys a quick little quality test, so enjoy the little quality test. I keep saying little. <laughs> it's not a little quality test, it's a big quality test. Anyway, so enjoy the um, quality test I'm about to show you, and if you like that quality, then this, this um, software is definitely for you. As you can see, it goes up all the way to 1080p, and um, uh, let's roll the uh, quality test. Alright, so now that you guys got a little feel for how good the quality is, um, you can pretty much um, say now whether you like the software or not. Anyway, so let's get down with it. So, t obviously there's three modes. Um, uh, this one is for games um, run by DirectX and OpenGL, all, all, all Steam games, if you're wondering. Um, you can run with by pressing this mode. Um, if you want to do this, this pretty much records the, the whole screen. Um, that's why this little thing in the top left is. It's actually currently recording on my second monitor, which I can't show you because uh, the... Um, uh, the thing I'm using to record the screen is only for one monitor. And then this one, Active Desktop Region, you can... Oh, it's on my other monitor again. How do I move it? Um, one second. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, um, you can pretty much select what you want to record. It's kind of like recording exception because here, um, I'm recording, a recording inside of recording, a recording software. Anyway, so yeah, you can select what you want to record, and then you can press the record button, change all the stuff, and obviously you can use a headset and all that stuff. Anyway, third, yeah, like I just said, the third one is the, um, you can select it, um, which size you want it to be. Um, um, here you can um, choose the file format. I usually like to go with AVI because you can go up to 1080p. Um, with MP4, you can only go to 720p. That's only with the games I run. But you guys have to be different. Um, for your frame rate, I usually just have it on 60, even though YouTube um, goes makes it go down to 30. But I usually just have it on 60 in case I, I don't want to use it for YouTube um, for something else. And duration is, uh, if you want to set the video to be a certain length, like 5 minutes, and you don't want to go farther than that, um, like for a, a let's play or something, you can just press duration and then set the duration to um, five minutes. But I, I don't like that. I don't like have duration. I like to um, end the video when I choose to end the video. Of course, some sound that just means like in Minecraft, um, the sounds of like people, um, like the music, the breaking blocks. That's what it pretty much means. Like YouTube videos, those are all system sounds. Allow multi channel audio recording. This means like allow um, your microphone and the system sound. So like if say you want to do let's play, you want to have the sound of the game and the sound of you talking. So you want to have that checked. A microphone, I have it on always record. You don't have it on record on button down, which is like you want to hold down Z and then record that. You could do that, but um, I don't really see the purpose of that. So next, um, oh yeah, these are all, if you want to press here, you can um, go, um, um, select the place where um, your videos will export to. They export immediately. So if I just bring it up real quick uh, in my folders, I currently have it on my um, hard drive. These are all my fault. This is uh, this is where they export to, like pretty much instantly. Um, but you don't have to like go here and then. Oh, you can you can actually export it straight to YouTube. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so um, there's another um, feature where it lets you live stream right to YouTube. But your your channel has to have more than a hundred subscribers, I think. Um, yeah, and it has to have like no community on strikes. But I'm not gonna get too much into this. You guys can watch other stuff about it. If you want, just enable it and you can press record and it starts it's streaming. It's really really simple and I really like action because it lets you stream easily. I don't stream because I don't think I really have enough followers to um, watch a stream. But um, we'll probably get there. But um, the channel's going pretty fast and that's pretty cool. So um, um, and here in audio recording, this is just if you want to do like a plain audio recording. You don't want to record the screen. You just want to record audio. Um, you could do it here. You can you know, um, press the start, stop, record, and it'll start recording. And then you can um, choose the format and, the, again, the duration if you want it to be a certain length. And then the um, hotkey to make it start. Um, the um, benchmarking, ugh, I forgot what benchmarking was. Um, I'm pretty sure, huh, benchmark recording. I, f I forgot what benchmarking is, but I don't think it's anything um too important in the if you want for like um recording games and all this but um yeah it's not that important and you usually just want to mess around with it and I promise you get all the same quality and if you go to about you can check out um all this stuff and I forgot to say this um software is thirty dollars anyway um capture screen <laughs> you can probably figure out a way to get for free though um I don't support that anyway but um but um definitely can't do that and then another another thing you can do is screenshots you can make the hotkey to do screenshots make um PNG I think that's the best quality one and then screenshot area you can do entire desktop or desktop one desktop Two. This means you guys probably won't see desktop one, desktop two because desktop two is I am um, second monitor. Um, 
this little gear is like where all the settings are. There's like a million different tabs in here. This is pretty simple stuff. I'm not going to go over all of it. This is pretty much just language. This is recording so I Just obviously have this on high. You don't want to have it on low. I don't know why you would. Um, maybe you don't have the powerful of GPU or something. Anyway, um, record mouse cursor. This is kind of important if you want to do tutorial videos. So I like to have that checked. Um, webcam, you just press. I don't have a webcam on my monitor, so I don't have it. But you can do recording mode, always record. I don't have one, obviously. And then you can make it like where you want it on the screen. Um, microphone thing, this is actually really important. So if you want to do a tutorial video or some kind of thing where you have a let's play, you want to have audio device on your microphone. Uh, I don't have my Samsung media mic plugged in right now because I have been playing Black Ops 2 right now on Steam and I want to record it with my headset. My Chubb HP 11s, or um, my Black Ops 2 edition, actually. <laughs> um, uh, the reason for that is because the uh, Black Ops 2 edition is better than the normal PX 11s. PX 11, yeah. Um, and I know people that record with PX11s are, um, are usually, um, they like can't get the uh, better ones or something. But I just want you guys to know that the uh, quality is not um, that bad as a PX11. Anyway, so you want to make the volume. I like to have it up really high because um, I usually give the people that are watching a video the ability to, you know, bring it down or up if they want to do it. Cord, microphone, and separate audio tracks. I like to have it checked if I want to bring up the volume of like my Skype call or, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my voice. System sounds, this is like. Um, yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but, um, pretty much what you're hearing, um, like, where the same sounds are coming from. So, my, um, case are coming from my speakers, the headset. Um, so I'm gonna press speakers. In your case, it might be coming from, like, a, um, I don't know, an, a pair of, um, Logitech speakers, and those will come up here if they're plugged in. And then here you can um, ba mount, balance down the systems, b balance out the system sounds with your microphone. And then bit rate, I have no idea what that means. It's some like audio thing, but just leave it on system default because that's the best quality you'll get. HDD saying just means this tiny. Uh, you guys can't even see it. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you guys couldn't see it, so I apologize for that. It pretty much just shows the frame rate. It says arrow, and there's a little time uh, timer on it. Which I'm gonna show you guys, but oh, wait, I can. Yes, but I did not know I could do this. But yeah, it's this thing in the little corner. Let's move the recorder back. I don't know how you can move it. That's cool. Anyway, um, this is HD settings. Export, export settings, it just talks about use hardware acceleration for video encoding. You guys won't have this unless you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, but you might have like a, um, I don't know, what, I don't even know. Other, oh, Radeon. You might have a Radeon thing here. Or you might have a graphics card at all. So this you probably don't want to mess around with. It's all um, set to the default, which is um, good. And export Apple folder. Um, this is pretty much where your video is going to be exported to. You can also get that as pressing the button there. Um, record video. These are already hockey. Like I said, if you want, this is record video, record audio. I totally forgot what that means. I'll probably leave it in the description. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I like to have an F9 because that's how Fraps was. And I don't really want to change that too much. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little quality. Um, it's not quality. I was gonna say quality test. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the new software called Action by Marillus. I think that's how I pronounce it. Link in the description to um the website where you can buy this software for thirty dollars, and it's really really good. Um. As you can see, we got 1080p there. These are all my recording stuff. And I'm going to play one more quality test. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys later.